Hey guys, it's Professor Pro, and earlier this morning Nintendo announced the Nintendo Switch Lite, which, thank goodness it's named that, because that sounds 10 times better than Switch Mini. Honestly, the best part of this announcement is knowing that I don't have to see a bunch of Nintendo Switch Mini rumors popping up in my feed anymore. I am very thankful. Something about it seems kind of off though. Even though I won't be getting this system, well, unless either my Switch breaks or they release some sort of special Animal Crossing New Horizons edition, it's lacking so many features of the original Nintendo Switch. And I know that's to be expected with such a low price point and such a small system, but it's kind of weird to me. Let's look at the name of the console itself, the Nintendo Switch. The whole reason the Switch is named as it is, is because it allows you to switch from handheld play to the TV which obviously the Switch Lite does not allow you to do. I find this really strange, I, I know most of the rumors were saying that it would be a purely handheld device, and it makes sense for Nintendo to do that considering the 3DS is just about dead, so now they're covering that low price point handheld area, but it still seems a little off. One of the other main things I think of when it comes to the Nintendo Switch are the Joy-Con, and the Switch Lite doesn't exactly have those either. They come attached to the screen, forever. This makes a ton of sense for the handheld, and I completely understand why they did it. Everyone saw this coming, including myself, but I do find it still a tad restrictive. As they said during the trailer, you can't even play games such as 1-2 Switch without an extra pair of Joy-Con, and even then, the Switch Lite doesn't have a backstand, so you can't even set it up while you play. Am I saying that the Switch Lite is a bad idea by Nintendo? Absolutely not. This thing is going to sell like crazy, and for a lot of people, it will get them into the Switch. It's really going to fill that hole that the 3DS left behind. I just find it a little strange that it's a Switch that can't switch. I see a lot of people comparing this to the 2DS, saying, well, Nintendo sold the 3DS without 3D, but I see that as a little different. The 3DS never really felt essential for the experience. It enhanced it, sure, but it wasn't really a system seller, in my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people did buy it for the 3D though, but for the Switch, its namesake is allowing you to switch from handheld play to the TV, so I find it a little strange that they would release a version that can't do this. But like I said, I really understand why Nintendo's doing this. When you have games coming out like Pokemon, Animal Crossing, these huge titles, you really want to cover as much ground as possible, and the handheld market isn't covered very well by a lot of other companies. Nintendo's really doing well here. And hey, the color schemes look really creative and nice. I mean, sure, I haven't heard anyone that likes the yellow one, I mean, I don't like the yellow one, but the black and the turquoise look amazing. I would probably get the black if I had to choose, because it looks really sleek, but that's just me. Anyways, what do you guys think of the Switch Lite? Are any of you picking it up? What color are you choosing? Let me know in the comments down below. Professor Pro, out.